Hi, Erica. Jeff is here as well. He is working on an awesome that. We are also working on an awesome this. And you guys have been with us through the entire process. Hope you can hear me. But today is UTC. Now, um, UTC is nerve-wracking to me, mainly because I want to make sure that I get the measurements right, because math is hard, and it's apparently really easy to mess up. So, I'm going to tell you how I do it, and then you can decide if you want to try it or not. Today, we are doing UTC gloss. You may or may not believe me, but this word right here is hard to find if you don't know where it is. And it doesn't say that on the part B because the part B goes with either the gloss or the matte. Today we're doing gloss. I don't know if I said that. But yeah. Um, so this is the inlay to keep people from going in and out of the bar. You know, when you because they don't want people behind the bar, so this is gonna be inlaid. So that there's like a door, but not a door, because it's a bar top of a door. Anyways, so we're gonna use these. These are fourth inch nap rollers. These happen to be six inches long. I don't think that, that part matters, but the nap definitely matters. You don't want a lot of high fibers so that you don't have a lot of texture because this stuff is bad about leaving texture behind if you're not careful. Also, you wanna get as much fuzz off of these as possible. So we always pre-roll them on some masking tape. And I actually get pretty aggressive with doing this because you don't want any fuzzies left behind. Can you help for that? I'm picking up some. I'm going to need your help uh, after I mix the UTC and everything. Anyways, I went ahead and pre deshedded those, but I wanted to show you for practical purposes what that was in case you read deshedding your roller and was like, what? Also, um, Something else, but I forgot. If you happen to hear Bowie in the background or beautiful song being sung, <laughs> he's getting groomed right now and he gets impatient and wants to get down, so you may hear him. And his groomer is a sweet lady that sings to him when he gets nervous. B, did you want to add um, the middle, the R, the paint pen? Did you want to go? Oh, yeah. So. Um, this is two to one, and for every ounce you have mixed of this, you want to add a half ounce of water. So I'm going to have three ounces total, which would be two ounces of this, one ounce of this. And so if I math that right, I'm going to need an ounce and a half of water. I hope that's right. Also, when we put this decal down... It brought up the middle of the A and the R. <laughs> so Jeff is just adding those back in. Not as perfect, don't know how, but it was a good one. Well, I'm so glad, TG. What's up, Juliet, Clara, Melody, Betty, Vamp, Christine with a K, Sandy, Susan, everyone. So happy to have you all here. Um, so it is nerve wracking to do this because if you don't do it right, then you essentially have to sand it all the way back down to your flood coat because it'll leave a texture. Now, I also hear that you can um, get an atomizer, which I have Rhonda's over there and mist water over it and re-dry roll it to kind of bring down some of the texture. But hopefully we won't have to do that. What's up, Regina? 
think it'll be fine if I don't. Like, it'll be fine if you don't. If, if it's not on there because it's that type of this type of image. Yeah. So you want to scrape it off? I don't know. I'm yeah. Thinking of it we'll might pull be it off. This is what I was hoping that it would kind of dim down anyway. Mm -hmm. There's alcohol in here if you need it. So, you have heat warnings for the next six days. Y'all be careful. What's up, Nancy? Casey, how are you doing? I hope you are doing pretty well considering. So we're good with this. You don't want to wipe any more off of it or dull it. We're good. Okay. So we're going to start mixing, and I'm nervous. I'm scared. Super nervous. Super scared. So what we're going to do, because it's two to one, which means two parts of one and one part of the other, and if you're not sure which part is the two and which part is the one, the biggest bottle is always the two. So this has different, it's exactly the same color now. So the instructions on this were made when they first released the UTC, I believe, and Uh, it's changed since then. It's necessary that resin part A is mixed separately prior to combining with part B. Materials may settle at the bottom of resin. Why are they calling this resin? I have questions, UTC people. Anyways. I am not sure if you're supposed to shake it or not, so we're just going to gently... Shake this, and we're going to do two ounces of the this. Why am I so nervous? But I'm fully nervous. Okay, we got two ounces there. Boop. I think this is more nerve wracking than messing with resin. There's so much finality to it. So are you just gonna like? I can't. Put this on it and just roll it out, or are you gonna put it? In? I'm gonna put it in there. Is that gonna be enough? Well, and the water and the ounce of this I have to put in there. Okay, we got two, two, one. This is going to be too much. So if you have anything you want to have this on. So you're supposed to mix this together before mixing the water into it. So it says... Mix thoroughly for approximately two to three minutes using a stir stick. After thoroughly mixing, add up to 2% of water for thinning for the desired consistency. So this stuff is pretty thick. Like, it's like glue. It may be even thicker than glue. So, the working time on this is... Not a lot. It doesn't say on here, but it's like 20 minutes. Avoid over rolling as this can cause unwanted bubbles or roller marks. Keep all moisture away for 48 hours. I don't know what that means other than don't spill a cup of water on it. 
dry the touch in eight to nine hours. And then you can fully use it like as a countertop after two days, which is amazing. So it is like 15, but when we did that countertop at Artco, I'm sure we used it way too long. You know when you used it too long when you're rolling it out and it's already, it stays opaque. Uh, Regina, yes, I already de-shedded the rollers. And we're still trying to figure out a way to put this through an airbrush, because I think it can be done, to be honest. We're trying to work it out to where there's less texture, because it almost looks orange peely, but it's not an orange peel, but it almost looks like it. Just like with resin, don't forget to scrape your stir stick and the sides and the bottom of your cup. Also, I like to have the water pre-measured because when you have something that's got this short of working time, you really need to have your ingredients prepared. So this looks more like a roll on fluidity. Mm, is that right? We'll say that's right. So now this looks like heavy whipping cream before it's whipped. That's kind of the consistency of it. It's almost like acrylic paints. Right, Swamper? It's nerve wracking to do UTC. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. I have forgotten that I need to lightly sand this with a 220. So we're going to use a 320. Give me the. <laughs> Give it a little bit of a. It's a little something. Deep hole. Don't sand off your, oh, it may be the other side that has the alcohol on it. Ugh, I just splashed on myself. It's all right, I need to take a shower anyways. All right, so after we get that wiped off, I still feel like this is really thick comparatively. So I'm just gonna add just a, yeah. She did. I'm just going to add a little boop. That was the exact amount of water I added. If you can add a pinch of salt, then I can add a boop of water. All right, just want to make sure this is fully incorporated. Then we're going to put it in the rolling thing, and then we're going to roll it on, and then we're going to dry roll it. So you have to use a wet roller and a dry roller, and you have to only use the dry roller until... You can hear it go. How does it go? And that means that there's too much. It's, um, you're saturating your dry roller and it is now a wet roller. So you need a new dry roller. Because what you're doing is picking up some of the product that you're putting down. Which seems counterintuitive, but that's the rules. So that's what we're going off of. So, I have a clean this already prepared and I'm gonna just pour my this in here just like that and I may even just turn this upside down so it can further drain so this is what it looks like right now 
You can also just use that uh, clean press and seal to line your rolling thing things. What is this called? Thing things. <laughs> yeah. A liner? Yeah. No. All right. So what, what is the liner doing? in? You want me to put it down? Yeah. I need you to put it down. Pick it up what I'm putting down. Oh, babe, that's like super thin I'm, or thick. I know, but I put the amount of water that it said. I thought Rhonda said you can add water. I mean, I can load it back up. I can put more water in there. According to the instructions, I used the proper amount. Here. She said you can add more water, so just... Oh yeah, don't, um, yeah, rolling tray. But see, that phrase has a lot of, Rhonda kept adding water after the exact amount too. Okay, I feel better. That's what I remember at Artco. But I have more, if you think. Okay. So. Should, like load it up. Yep. And then you're supposed to go both ways. So it looks really, really white now, but once he gets it applied, we'll go back in and we'll pull some of it off. You can see some of the texture from the nap of the roller right there. And also, I'm gonna let Jeff tell you about this handy trick of how to roll on stuff without leaving lines. Yeah. But he's not there yet. He's probably gonna do the edges before he does that. Or should I foam roll the edges? Um, like in the crevices? No, do we need to do the edges? We did the edges of the one in the bar. So essentially you have 15 minutes to apply the UTC. So what he's doing now, you said it's not rolling? Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm basically putting pressure I'm putting pressure on this side right here on, on the, like I'm, I'm pushing at an angle like this down. So you can see there's that line, but there's not one here. You have a hesitation on it. Yeah, I know, I'm good at it. So by doing that, it feathers the front side. I think you should be going over this right now. Well, I'm not gonna do that until after you have it done. But I will go ahead and start. I know I'm going back the other way though. So so now I'm 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 literally like I'm just trying to. You want to go this way? I don't want to hold that. Okay. So you're trying to what? I'm just trying to get it all equal. I think you're supposed to be going behind me right now with that. And I know that's what I did. Because I'm not picking anything up right now. Okay. I think the lines are what need to be taken out of what you're doing. Sorry, y'all. That looks great. Yeah.
You're adding more pressure than I do, which is fine. I, you just you have to go over this though. Let me take you guys down. So he's. Need to. Like. I was doing. I was pressing it the wrong way. If you see any lines, it will show. So do you want to do this way? I don't think that matters. I think it's getting it on is what. Okay. But there's definitely a line there that's yeah. going to be visible. See this line here? That's because he and I were, he and I were using different um, amounts of pressure to dry roll. And so it left a white line. And if you can see it now, then you'll be able to see it when it's dry. So you really need to go, you can only go back over it so many times, but if you have to go over it more in a bit, Ooh. then um, use an atomizer. We need to get the, yeah. Um, if you can see any texture in it now, then you'll be able to see it after it's dry. It looks good. And so this will dry clear. And you will still be able to see some of that ripply texture, but it'll settle down a bit. But honestly... Can we do one more on here since there was so much? Because this is picking through. I haven't de another one, but if you want to, you can, but you're going to have to hurry. Um, I already hung the tape back up. So Jeff wants to go over it with another dry roller to pick up a little bit more. We also have, should I atomize it? This. So if you need to extend the amount of time, get an atomizer, which is water that goes out in a mist. It's not a squirt bottle, it just is like that and stay a fair amount away so that you don't accidentally do any big drips. I'm just missing, there he is. missing over it <laughs> slightly. <laughs> we didn't escape. <laughs> there we go. Did you, did you shed it? Yeah. Okay. So you can see that ridge where he's pulling more of the product off. And I think this also makes it a lot smoother. Too, hey, Papa. Know? Like, I think it takes away from that. Uh, Hello there, soul minded. That, uh, I'm going to see if she needs something from me. Okay. So here's the mic. That looks good. Yeah, this is good. If you want to hook it to yourself. All right. Well, I think we're good, y'all. He's been so pretty. Um, let's see what y'all are saying. We have detection at the front door. Man, I think I need to switch my contacts out. So I'm working on a different... Um, why does she have this on here? What? <laughs> she has her phone attached to this like gimbal thing. I'm doing a different graffiti piece. So this it's gonna be a big, not big, but it's more teeth than normal. You could see. It's gonna be like a snarl. But I just kind of Put some fun colors up there. Hopefully it'll be a, a little bit brighter and better than the last one I did. Ooh, this looks great. I like it. Looks great. I think it'll be A-OK. -okay. That's 
so cute how the dog groomer sings to Bowie. Like, every time. So does anybody have any questions or thoughts or blah, blah, blahs? <laughs> Eric is in there right now talking to the dog groomer. Hello, hello. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, it's uh, the place is awesome. The place is called Deep Ellum Art Company. And we are going to have a show there in October to December, I believe. Or November, something like that. I'm really stoked. And I'm, I'm going to have to change my contacts. Whew. All right, I think this looks good. I'm stoked. The only thing I worry about is should 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 I be worried about if it looks maybe heavier in places? I don't want to keep going over it and then like I know it's still going to be wet, but it's kind of sticky. It's kind of hot in here. I don't think she has the air on so that uh we're not like Throwing a bunch of lint and dog hair on here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm nervous. Uh, Melody, I, I want to say the cure time is, um, it's got to be a couple hours, right? Or, uh, like, you shouldn't touch it after, like, 15, 20 minutes, I believe, and then wait 24 hours. Erica should be right back here. The, uh, she's leaving right now. Or the dog groomer's leaving. God, we had to do four layers of resin on that big graffiti piece with a neon because it kept getting hairs and stuff in it. Oh, my gosh. It drives me crazy. I can't give somebody a big-ass piece of artwork like that. Oh, that reminds me I need to clean my airbrush out. There's Bowie with the zoomies. All right. Come on. Bowie. He's got the zoomy. Can you hear him? <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like there's like a piece of ice. It's drying. We we applied it perfectly. Let it dry. It's already starting to clear up. So What's the cure time on a small piece like that? Okay. Bowie, what are you doing? He is so excited about his new haircut. Silly boy. Yes, Casey, 
You take your time healing. So, yeah. This is what it looks like. It will cure more clear. Those little white areas will clear up as it dries. And we will take it up to its new home tomorrow. And then this piece goes to its new home tomorrow. Glassy, glassy. Um, people ask us all the time how we keep hair out of our pieces. A lot of times it comes down to doing something like this for our larger pieces, but we're going to work on a dust-free zone for our larger pieces as well. Also, moment of truth. So we're going to keep this one a little more simpler, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to just do a, a solid black line for everything. See, that's how it should have looked in the first um, I'm just going to do a solid black line for everything. Just a good, you know, a good, nice, solid black line for all the detail. And then come in with the airbrush just a little and just barely make it some shadow. If, if I don't like just a solid black line for everything. I'm sure I'll put a, a nice shadow in here. But yeah. Working on a bunch of different pieces. No, that wasn't Frisket. It was contact paper. You can get at Home Depot. Homey Depot. Homey Depot. We're working on that. We're working on this. Do we get to see them in their new homes? Uh yeah. So this one is going to Deep Elm Art Co. And so we'll do a video of that. Also, if you're here between October and the end of the year, you can see an art show that we're going to have at art co and then this one is also going to live in deep Ellum. it's going to where oh oak cliff social club not deep Ellum. oak cliff um where do you get your shading gray i cannot find it uh i get mine from our local uh art supply store that's golden um you can probably get it from you can, blick you can use this yeah you can um this is a good this is just a a really different it's a little darker um transparent smoke by calm art this is super forgiving because it's so light so it's it takes a lot of layers but that's how you get a realistic black and white portrait if you are trying to do that um you would start with this and end up adding this just so that it gets it darker and darker and then adding a little bit, maybe transparent black um, to really get the, the dark parts. But I mean, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at, uh, if you have an Azel art supply store near you, Jerry's. I don't know if, if Jerry's does. I don't, I don't know if they have airbrush stuff. I, I looked that last time, but Um, you could get Createx, but it's really thick, so I would... Claire just added a link to it on Amazon. Yeah. All right, you guys. I got to put out some orders, but I just got shipping notifications for Color Passion and Color Obsession. I expect Just Resin to come in around the same time. So hopefully we'll get all those in before... What's coming up? Is it Labor Day? No. Memorial Day? Whichever one of those days is coming up, the first weekend of September, hopefully they'll be in before that. So that is what our chameleon UTC inlay looks like. Labor Day. Thank you, Susan. Days are hard. Anyways, you guys are amazing. I got to go clean up an entire puppy worth of hair out of Jeff's bathroom, probably, because he got brushed out, so there's probably a whole puppy in there. You guys are amazing. We will see you guys tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central for another live. No idea what we're going to be working on, but it'll be art, and it'll be awesome. So I hope 
We will see you guys here. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Oh, you're talking about the spray paint. Transparent black spray paint? Yeah, you can get that. Montana? Yeah, Montana. Uh, I know in Europe, if you're in Europe on that side, uh, bombingscience.com, they have all the good spray paint. Um, I know Jerry's has Montana and transparent Montana paint. So try jerry'sartorama.com, blick.com. They may have the transparents from yeah, any, Montana. Like, just look up graffiti shop in your area or graffiti shop or head shop or skate shop or skate shop. Yeah. All those would be good places to go and look at spray paint in person. All right, you guys, Casey, you get better. Many hugs to you. Vamp have fun. Walking your dog, rolling, getting pulled by your dog. Just vamp down. Okay. Look, it's already getting more clear. Anyways, y'all are amazing. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central. <gasps> Bye. Oh, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Oh, so you don't have to. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.